I'm Robin Higgins, and this is how to calculate 0.03% carbon dioxide in milligrams per liter. So, for this problem, let's assume a couple of things. First, that we're calculating this percent in as a mass percent, which means that we basically assume that we have 0.03 grams carbon dioxide and 100 grams of water, which we can multiply by 100, and this is going to give us our correct percent, 0.03%. So this is kind of our first assumption that we have 0.03 grams carbon dioxide and 100 grams of water. And now that we have this, it's just a simple conversion to our final units of milligrams per liter, otherwise known as migs per liter. So first, let's take our 0.03 grams of carbon dioxide. And to convert to milligrams, all we have to do is multiply by 1,000. This is because there are a thousand milligrams in every one gram. That's just a basic conversion. So multiply and we're going to get 30 milligrams. So that's how many milligrams of carbon dioxide we have. Now let's convert our 100 grams of water into liters. So if we have 100 grams of water Let's convert that to a volume unit. So one milliliter is the same as one gram. Cancel these guys out. And now let's convert to liters. So for every one liter, you have a thousand milliliters. So units cancel out. We know we're gonna end up in liters and we get 0 0.1 liters of H2O. So now we have how many milligrams we have and how many liters we have. And our final units are going to be in meters or milligrams per liter. So all we have to do is take our 30 milligrams of carbon dioxide over our 0 0.1 liters of H2O. And we can see that our final answer is that we have 300 milligrams per liter of carbon dioxide in H2O. I'm Robin Higgins, and this has been how to calculate 0.03 carbon dioxide concentration in MIGS per liter.